Ooh. <laughs> oh, this one is going to probably get me some negativity. So if you plan on being negative, please just click stop and then move along. Anyway, the topic of this video is stealing tattoo designs. Is it okay or is it not? This is a pretty controversial topic and I hadn't really weighed in and because I've gotten two tattoos for Christmas, I decided I'll go ahead and make a video about this. Um, a lot of people feel that if you see a tattoo design and you take it for yourself, you are the scummiest scum of all the scum there is. Other people think that it's okay and if it's out there, it should be allowed to be taken. My stance on this is... I'd say probably the former. Uh, maybe it's just me. Uh, probably, mostly, it's just me. Sorry in advance if I offend anybody, but you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie about it. Um, I I don't think you should go out and actively look at somebody else and try to steal their design. But if you see something you like, to me, it's just it is nearly impossible to be individual, unique anything like that nowadays you just you you can't you can't do it um there are just too many similar people similar thoughts if you've had a thought chances are somebody else has had it or already has it or whatnot you just cannot be unique in this day and age pretty much and if you've got something even a picture of yourself chances are somebody out there will see you and try to copy something from you it's just something you can't really get away from tattoo wise I'm pretty sure the same goes. If it's out there, somebody would see it and somebody would copy it and somebody would get it. Now, I don't like 100% direct copies unless there is really no getting away from it. Um, I don't look at people and say, oh my God, I want her tattoo and then I get that actual tattoo just to spite someone or just to copy them. I never do that. The thing is, is that I don't have like an artistic bone in my body. I cannot draw. If I have a tattoo idea, I've got to find something online to express that idea to my tattooist. She works from home. She has a shop. What the fuck? I've got curly hair now. Um, anyway, she's got a shop set up at home and she's constantly busy, busy, busy. She's a single mom and she, you know, she does all her work from home. And so her, the payment she gets for tattoos goes towards paying off her bills and her mortgages and things like that. Um, she could design tattoos, but she doesn't really have a lot of time. So because I've been going to her for God, like seven, eight years now, um, she cuts me a lot of deals because I'm a, a long-term constant client and I, in turn try to make her job easier by coming up with my own ideas and just kind of having it photoshopped together or edited together so that I can just get what I need to get. I cannot draw again. Um, I've got no way of expressing what I want when I want a tattoo. I've got to find an existing picture, edit it if I can to make it different or um, tell her we'll change the color of this or change that and that's how I do my tattoos it's the only thing I can do um, I'll get an idea oh I really want this like for instance on my right leg I'm gonna start that leg's gonna be kind of sci-fi fantasy as opposed to horror which is my other leg and um, I want Doctor Who shit at the bottom and I I can't draw you know and there's not really any good pictures of TARDISes and shit that I want tattooed on me so I've got to look at other people's tattoos for inspiration get something like that and then say like I want this here and I want this on this side and I want this on this side so I'm basically photoshopping three people's tattoos on my body in in the design of how I want it because that's all I can do um, usually I try to go to tattoo shops and see pictures that they've got on their walls because I, it feels a little less personal that way um, the only tattoo I have that's directly taken from somebody that I've seen are the stitches, uh, not the stitches, the um, the doll joints. And I've explained that in my other tattoo video that was because Logan wanted a whole doll arm and I love stitches and doll stuff. I collect dolls, I make dolls, I repaint dolls. I love dolls. And um, 
when he wanted a doll arm, I was like, fuck, it's too bad I've got shit or else I'd get a doll arm too. And when he was looking for a joint for the wrist and a joint for the elbow and a joint for the shoulder, I was tasked with helping him find the design. And then he'd choose, you know, from whatever I found. The only person I've ever seen who has ball, like doll joint arms was Emily. And she had the perfect, just nicely shaded. And so I show that to my tattooist. I said, is there anything we could do to kind of change this up? Because this is, it's either this or like a ball joint, which ball joints don't translate well to tattoos. So there wasn't a hell of a lot we could do. I think ours were kind of, cause I decided to get it after he did. Ours were extended a little bit more in the back, I think. Um, and a little bit more in the front, but it's, uh, it's probably the closest direct copy. Um, my leg stitches, I found a cool picture of somebody that had like, their whole arm stitched up and I was like I want something like that but it was a small picture I didn't have a big picture I didn't have a detailed picture it was just enough to show her kind of the design I wanted and so she sketched it on my my leg she um freehanded and we worked on it together but it still looks similar but it was completely freehanded just using that as an inspiration um this one and the bat that I have are from a tattoo studio that I absolutely love and I really love their work and their designs. And so I asked her to replicate it. And of course it can't be replicated hundred percent. Like this is, the wings are different. The spider's a bit different. The spider's got shading on it. Whereas the original picture doesn't have it. The wings were freehanded and the highlights are different. Um, but the basic setup is the same. This one was a picture online and I added, I told her to freehand some splash behind it and she did. And the wings were also freehanded cause she does a lot of moth stuff. Um, this was a picture, this nun that I haven't gotten finished. It's a picture from um, a comic book artist. And so I liked that, you know, things like that. Like, you know, this was a, a picture I saw, a little painting I saw and I got it tattooed. My octopus on my side was a picture I saw on DeviantArt and everybody kept saying, oh, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. But I hadn't actually seen anybody posting that they got it. So we did that. We changed it up a bit. We added tentacles. We made it longer. We made the horns higher. And it's going to be part of a whole, like, gothy underwater scene there. Um, this, it was just, I found a picture of a heart, asked her to tattoo it. Um, she freehanded this. I said, oh, it'd be nice to have ribs here. The tentacle thing was freehanded. You know, um, this was a, a drawing, I think I saw. And then we added stuff to it just to make it differently. You know, things like that. I will use other people's work as inspiration for my own stuff because I don't have the ability to draw it or make it myself and I don't have the time to ask her to design me something and wait around hoping that she can so that's what I do a lot of people will still say that this is a ripoff it's disrespectful it's really fucked up it's unoriginal but again you are never truly unique in this day and age and if you have it, chances are somebody else will have it. Somebody else will get it. Somebody else will want it. And I think life is too short to worry about, you know, one person thousands of miles from me who I will never see, never meet, never know, might have the same design that I see and try to change up. I mean, people probably have stuff that I have. Uh, who knows? Um, the only thing that I know of that's that I haven't seen anybody with is my Donnie Darko tattoo, which is the... The words that spiral up my arm. I'm sure somebody else has this, has the words, has the font, has the line, but not spiraling <clears throat> up their arm the way I do. Um, you can't even really see it anymore, but it says the dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. And it starts at my wrist and it spirals up to, um, to here. And so, you know, that's something I've never seen before done like that. But yeah, pretty much everything else. Mm, not really original. Um, although my, my back, uh, I designed that. I mean, she, she drew it and sketched it. She did design that for me. And that was just purely my idea. I wanted something on my back. I didn't know what there was many, many times I was just going to get a random anything just to have something on my back. And luckily the person I was trying to go to said it, do not just get anything, put some thought into it. And I was like, God damn it. So I did. And I debated and I just, oh, I tore myself up thinking about it. And finally I thought, you know what? 
maybe if I get like a ripped open kind of corset thing and you can see the laces through it and then you can see the spine, that would be pretty cool. I asked her to design it. She designed it for me and I got it. So that's different as well. And the stupid little wings that I had here, I was like, what can I get there? And my mind just went to wings, wings, wings. And then I'm like, you know what? Who says it has to be wings? It could be anything. So we just did a massive tentacles on my back because I, I'm real big into the octopus shit. And so the tentacles went from my back to my front. And so that was something, you know, um, so I've got the ideas. I don't rely solely on other people, but I do rely the majority on other people. So some people have tried to be snarky and come to me and saying, oh, I love your tattoos. Oh, hey, I knew I'd seen that before. Look at that. And they'll show me a picture of the original as if I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, that's a picture I used, you know, and, um, you know, to stop people from being like, oh my God, that belongs to somebody else. I figured, you know, I'd weigh on, weigh in on this and explain the other side of it for those that might take somebody else's idea, why they might take it. I don't know, um, why other people do it, but this is why I do it. If I could draw out all of my ideas, I would never, ever go to Google and put together anybody else's shit because if I had a choice to try to be unique, I would most definitely do that. But seeing as I can't, this is my only option. So I think if you do it for those reasons, it's okay. If you're doing it to be a douche or you're like, I can't be bothered. Um, I really like that. And I want to copy her or him. And you, you do it because you're not original. You really don't care or you want to be a dick about it. Then I think you are in the wrong. I mean, at least try, <laughs> try to be a bit individual. Um, I'm trying to design something for me and Logan for our fifth anniversary and I'm having trouble with that because I can't draw. Um, I'm going to add a picture in here and you guys can have a big laugh. So what that's supposed to be is on my side, it's supposed to be an octopus on my foot reaching up. And on his side, it's supposed to be a squid reaching down. So what it's going to be is it's going to be my octopus reaching up, his squid reaching down, and then one tentacle from each in the middle. When we stand next to each other, it will form a heart. When it's alone, it'll just look like the, you know, twists and turns like this of a, of a tentacle. But I can't draw. So I'm trying to sketch it and... I can't fucking do it. I'm just like, I think this is where it's going to go and how big it's going to be or whatnot. And I just suck ass. So that's what it looks like when I try to sketch something. I can't do it. We're going to be getting, um, like, uh, in the new year, we're going to be getting a tattoo here, like a little line in each other's handwriting to go with this heart. And I'm even having trouble writing. Like I'm trying to write it out nicely so he can have it tattooed on his body. And I can't for the life of me if I can do what I'm like, I think you just can't do it. So, um, I suck ass. <laughs> um, I hope you guys don't look down on me for, for this. If you, if you didn't already know that's where I get my tattoo ideas and stuff from, I really hope that you don't look down on me for it and you can understand my reasoning. If you do look down on me for it, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. But I don't know you, so it doesn't really matter. You're not living in my skin. I have to live in my skin. And I also think if I only had like one or two tattoos, it would be far more noticeable if I had something. But I don't. I have a lot of tattoos. So everything kind of blends in together as well. Even my scarred, I got that idea from somebody. I mean, a lot of people have words written there. And there's this chick and she had... She had some other phrase there, but the lettering was the same. It was that carved look. And so I thought and thought and thought of a word that fit me, that suited, that I wanted on my body. And um, scarred was perfect. It fit the font and it fit me. You know, I've been scarred emotionally, mentally, physically, everything. And it, it just really, really fit. And so I asked my tattooist if she could mimic the font. And what I did was I took letters from this other girl and I photoshopped it to make the word scarred. I took bits and pieces and it was really tedious work to reform her word into my word. And I did it. And then, so that's what we put on me. So 
you know what I mean? It's, it's all about the photoshopping and taking bits and pieces from what I see and trying my best to make it my own. Um, ooh, so, uh, yeah. What do you guys think about this topic? Have you ever taken anything from anybody else? And if you have, why? If you haven't, why? And uh, have you ever thought about it? Um, what do you think about the, you know, the subject? What do you think about people that use, uh, other people's work as their own tattoos? Do you look down on them? Do you understand? Uh, I had seen this one beautiful bat chest piece you guys might've seen. It's like this really big shoulder to shoulder, awesome fucking bat. This one tattooist, uh, or whoever, this one girl had a picture of it and so many other people copied it. There's this one girl that had it and that was posting it everywhere and it looked pretty shitty. But everybody knew right away, hey, that's from that, that's from that. And they all looked down on this chick for getting it. And that's what made me start thinking, like, oh, fuck. You know, they fucking hate this chick for getting the same tattoo this other chick has. But, like, sometimes you just see an idea and you're just blown away by it. And you're like, I want that on my fucking skin. That is fucking amazing. And, you know, sometimes you, you're you not original enough to think of these things. Sometimes, you know, you just stumble across it and you're like, fuck, that's fucking awesome, you know? And... That's just the way it is. And, uh, yeah, I can understand the uh, artists being kind of eh, about their work being reproduced and shared, especially if the quality is not good. If you go to a shitty tattooist and you try to get an amazing piece and they wreck it, it might make the original artist look bad. And I could see then them, then them being like, eh, about it. But if you go to a good artist and the work is reproduced pretty up to standard, I think then it, 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 it's not an insult, then it should be considered a compliment. Like my tattooist is pretty good. She's like one of the best in the city. And I, I'm confident that she can pretty much do anything that I, I ask her to do and change it up, you know, enough to where I'm happy. Um, this here, this Baphomet was, uh, it's, um, from an artist that I absolutely love. I think he's a Russian and his design was all black and white. And then the face was different as well, the face and the arms. And so I had her color it in. I had her change the face, but leave the fundamental design the same because to me it was like the best baphomet I've ever seen. And um, so I'm really, really happy with that as well. It's just, I like to take the work of artists. Sorry, I just ate, so everything's like, Ugh. I like to take the work of artists that I admire and respect and I like, I will never be able to fly to go see them to get this shit done. So the next best thing I can do is go to my own artist and ask for something similar or close to it or whatnot. And I mean, absolutely no disrespect in what I do. It's actually the highest form of flattery I can think of is by wanting the same thing permanently on my body. So, um, that's my side of it. I'm very curious to see what you guys think and, Fingers crossed not too many of you despise me or are disgusted by me for it. But like I said, if you are, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, topic I've been wanting to talk about for ages. And since I'm running out of videos, I thought, you know what, now will be a pretty good time as well. And then I've got the two new tattoos to show for it. So, um, yeah, leave your comments below and I will be reading them all. And take care, you guys, and I will see you soon.